Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How To Minecraft on the How To Minecraft server. You see you got a few bats hanging out on the little crew over there. It's actually during daytime and some night light right there, so I'm not sure why they're over there, but I want to go ahead and quickly apologize before this video kicks off saying, I know, I know, the past couple episodes of H2M have not, oh god, <laughs> the past couple episodes of H2M have not had the most progress in the world and I do only have myself to blame for that. So uh, today is going to be literally a day dedicated to nothing else but progress. But of course, to top it off, we are going to go ahead and take on a dungeon. So we're going to go ahead and warp to Pete real fast, make ourselves a couple more golden apples, which I think I have. Yeah, we're going to make it so we have four real fast. We're going to do a dungeon real briefly. Uh, I'm going to cut it just so you guys don't have to actually watch. Well, actually... I've said this before, like, I was gonna cut dungeons, but, I mean, they're entertaining now, at least. Um, that other dungeon that I did, not really the biggest fan of, because it's not fun. Uh, don't think I'll be going to the Stonehenge dungeon unless it's, like, the only dungeon that's not, you know, like, the only dungeon that's Hellfire available. Yeah, was not fun doing that at all, so not going back there again. But, uh, anyways, what I'm thinking we're gonna do is my shield, chestplate, and my boots are all pretty good up. Uh, we have our stone right here. I'm going to pop away for the time being, and we got our stone slabs as well. Put all that stuff away for the uh, for the right now. For the right now. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to... Uh, actually, I wanted to see one thing real fast. I didn't think this works, but I do have soul shot on this bow here. I wanted to actually warp to my house and see whether or not I could combine that with the bow that I have right now, whether that would work. It might work, might not, always worth a shot at least. So we're going to go ahead and check that right now. Let's see. So if I was to pop that on there, ooh, check that sexy bow out right there. Power 5, Punch 1, Flame 1, and Breaking 3, and Soul Shot 3. Now Soul Shot has a chance to go through enemy armor. And I'm definitely going to be using that in PvP. But I want to try and see if I can maybe get one that's a bit more powerful than that before we go combining it onto this thing. We'll have to see. So uh, let's go ahead and warp to uh, the wall real fast here. Heal up our absorption hearts and uh, I guess just go in. I don't know if this dungeon's been done today or not. I'm hoping it hasn't. Because um, I do know it's one of the more difficult ones. And I don't think anyone has done this. I don't think it's glitched either, so we should be fine. I think I'm hearing blazes, or that might just be fire. Uh, nope, it has definitely not been done. Can see that demon master from up there. Fun times are definitely on the way. But, uh, yeah, I love you guys. I really do. And I take pride in my work on H2M. Uh, you know, take pride on always providing you guys great content. But I know I've been slacking the past couple days, you know, just due to being busy or whatever. And a little bit irresponsible. So I apologize. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and rock our demonic boots on in our second slot here. Uh, just going to blaze through these guys real fast. See, this is what I don't like. I don't like that mobs spawn while you're fighting, like, the actual mobs. But I guess that's part of the challenge as well. Alright, so these guys are all dead. That guy's supercharged. We got some freaking running around little speed guys. <laughs> Jesus, man. Alright, um... Okay, very fun. Really do want a pair of Voidwalker 3 uh, something or another as well. Because I know I have my Voidwalker 2 leggings, which a lot of you guys did say that I lost those. Uh, when I was uh, going with Choco. However, I did actually get those back, so that is uh, an incorrect statement to make. Uh, I just don't know what I did with them afterward. I don't know if I actually retrieved them, though. I know I didn't, like, lose them in the place or whatever. Uh, I'm actually going to hold off for one second. I don't even have jump boost at the moment. Uh, going to eat a golden apple real fast, get my jump boost, and then, uh, there we go. Let's go back on in with a little bit of demonic. There we go. Here we go. Now we're going to start making this sucker bleed. All right. Oh, now I'm not able to run. Oh, God. This actually might be bad. Oh, we're trapped in a corner. We got demonic on. We're trapped in a corner. Oh, God. All right. Take it slow. Take it slow. Blaze is coming around here. Block and dodge going in big. All right. Let's go ahead and pop that on. Yeah, this isn't doing too much right now, but it's enough. Thankfully, he doesn't have a diamond chest plate on at the moment. Oh, God. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts a little bit. Not much. Just keep an eye on my health right now more than anything because I can't tell if he attacks or not. Down to three hearts. Might be two. Nearly got him. Oh, one heart, I think. And he's dead, baby. Sweet. That was a... He didn't even hit us once. I don't think any of the bosses got a hit on us once there. That was pretty awesome. All right. Oh, God. Never mind. Hold on. We got these baddies. Go ahead and tackle you. Tackle you. And destroy you very quickly. All right. Let's see what we get out of here. Hopefully something good. We haven't had the greatest luck out of here yet. We did get that legendary axe, but it wasn't the greatest. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. So the bow, first off, is... That is quite literally nothing but toxic. I'm gonna talk... <laughs> I don't think Vax ever gonna remove that, just for banter's sake. Alright, the sword is crap. The chest plate is crap. The first axe is crap. And the second axe is crap. God damn it, man. Are you serious? Alright, well, we didn't get anything good from there. I guess another roll on the dungeon. Let's go back home and uh, store this stuff away. Yeah, it's really like... I don't know if because there's more... Nah, you should be able to get uh, better stuff now, but... I guess I'm just not having the lucky rolls. Uh, we got the sword, which is just absolutely terrible. And uh, this did have nightmares on us, so we did get one, you know, custom enchant, aside from our infinity bow, which we're not going to talk about. But um, we do still have... Where was it? Yeah, we got this thing a while ago, which is... It's okay. I'm going to talk to Vac and ask what Nightmare 5 does, because I know it gives blindness, but if people have Demonic on, um, I don't really know. Like, I don't think... You know, it does all that much. I had a petition a while ago, um, and a few people were... I think it was... A couple people were pretty cool with it. I don't know if it's actually going to go through. I would love for it to. Is if uh, Demonic actually got swapped out the... Um, what was it? What were the abilities? If the Blindness and Strength for Demonic actually got swapped out with Slowness and Resistance, or maybe Mining Fatigue and Resistance, I think that would be a lot better. Uh, it would make PvP go for a lot longer, because right now, in my opinion, I think PvP lasts for too short a time. Uh, you know, people just use demonic speed and stuff, which isn't all that fun. You know, I like really long fights, but just my own little cliche, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Warp Pete again. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get this entire thing up and running and fully operational right now. So we're going to go and jump down in here and go ahead and grab onto here. I think we can grab this mine. Okay, we missed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, I guess just slab up all of these roofs. And uh, then we're going to light this place up. So I'm going to make a little bit of a cut right here. I'm going to go ahead and layer this all down. I'll update you guys if so needed. And I'll see you back then. All right. So it seems like we have completely done up all of the floors and everything that we need. Now the... What the fudge are you... Hello. Hi. You're gone now. <laughs> so we've done up all the floors. Everything is layered out the perfect way that we needed. Now the only thing we have to do left, at least for the floors, is we have to actually light them up. Now I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to use glowstone for this and make it look actually good, or just use torches. I don't think torches actually obstruct with uh, spawning. I don't know if they do or not. I think they don't, which is why glowstone, I think, is not, like, a necessary thing. It just makes it look better, though. The question is, how much glowstone do I have? I got a bit more in here. Actually, I'd rather not touch that. Oh, how many glowstone blocks can I actually use for this thing? Hmm. That's the concern that I have, because I don't know how much glowstone I have. Hold on. If I go back to uh, my home, I think I have a lot of glowstone stuck in here somewhere. Still need to move everything over here, unfortunately. I am not the best soder. Soder. Sorter. Let's actually use sea lanterns. Oh, yeah. We have a ton of these. Yeah, fudge it. Let's use sea lanterns with, with this design. Uh, Warp peat. All right. Let's go ahead and head all the way back over here. So basically, like I said before, millions of times over again, we want to make it lit up where normal mobs won't be spawning on here and only slimes because slimes can spawn in areas regardless of light level, unlike pretty much every other mob, uh, hostile mob, that is at least. So we want to take full advantage of that. So I'm thinking, um, ooh, that actually is really good light levels. Let's do this from underneath for right now. Um, alright, so we want to kind of, I want it to be in the same location pretty much everywhere. I still need to remove that thing, don't I? Yeah, still need to remove the, uh, <laughs> the beacon, because we don't really need it for anything else right now. So here's the middle thing that I'm thinking. Let me actually get back on the top here, uh, jump over here and jump yonder right here. Um, where is the middle of this? So let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think the middle, so the middle is this right here. And then the middle of this, so this is the middle here, this line. And then the middle of this right here is right about here. So I think the four goes like this. So we'll want to do it in sort of this kind of formation. I'm thinking this will look the best. Yeah, so if we do eight on each floor, we'll definitely have enough to light everything up. And it looks good. How does that look? That looks great, actually. We're going to touch up, I think, the surroundings of this area, too. But I think that's something that I'll do off-camera, more than likely. Because uh, I think that would annoy a lot of people if I was just, kind of, like, touching up a cave system. <laughs> so I don't really want to do that all that much. And I guess right now we're kind of playing the guessing game of how the... Uh... You know what I could do, actually? Hold on. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, let me... 
Nah, I think I'll just cut out all of these for here and then place them back as we go back up. So I'll just like cut out the little holes and then I'll place the lanterns back as we go. Let's drop all the way back down here again and let's do one hole here, one hole over here. All this effort just to bring my family over. And you know what? That's okay. I've missed my family. I haven't talked to them in ages. All right. Well, I have. I saw my uh, slime cousin that let me know that this was a slime chunk. I guess I killed him though, so I'm not really the best brother in the world, but oh well. All right, so let's go ahead and dig us up over here. My real brother, my real half-brother, was watching this video right now. He'd probably agree with me. <laughs> oh, I've done some bad things in my life with him. Uh, f I'm censoring that. I am f definitely censoring that. It is. It's not even late. I can't even... Yes, it is. It's 2.30 a.m. I am allowed to make that excuse. Holy fudge. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Let's go over here, and uh, let's go over here. For those wondering what I censored, I gave out my address. Let's go with that. <laughs> I'm not going to remember to censor that, am I? No, I am not. That's okay, though. All right, no mobs seem to be spawning on here, which is nice, because we've pretty much been hollowed out, in, or we've been kind of in the area right now. No slimes have spawned, I don't think, while working on this, which is not necessarily the most disturbing thing in the world, but does kind of worry me a little bit that something might have happened, although I've done this enough times to know that that's more than likely not the case. We still have another floor to go. Oh, no, a few mobs are spawning down here. Um, still got couple more floors. I think it's this one and then the half floor underneath that we still have to do. Is it the half floor? I think this is the half floor right here. Uh, the one that kind of got cut right at the edge. There should not be a floor here. Oh, no, there is. Okay, so we've actually got even one more floor than this. Do we have enough sea lanterns? I think we do. I used a lot of sea lanterns for the uh, vault design. Uh, oh, no, yeah, this is the flat and then this right here is the floor. I was like, no, no, no. There can't be that many floors. And then from here and then we'll do it right here. And then I guess we'll do the same thing right here, just like it literally got cut in half. One there and one there. So I guess what we gotta do now is I think we'll do it from upward to make it easier on us. I love being able to warp, man. Honestly, how to Minecraft was fun, or uh, I shouldn't emphasize um, the two, but how to Minecraft was fun, the first series, but uh, just being able to like use home warps and stuff is just so much better. I mean, obviously there's aspects, you know, that pure vanilla is, you know, better than plugins or whatever, but Honestly, I just love being able to do this because I'm spoiled. You know, it's spoiled me, you know what I mean? Um, doing Crazy Craft, which, if you guys haven't checked out the first video, I highly recommend you do. It's going to be an awesome series. Definitely very stoked to be getting... Oh, God. I uh, messed up with that a little bit. Can we get in there? Yeah, we can. Parkour. Um, Crazy Craft doesn't have any warps or anything, so... That'll be kind of a little bit of a pain, but we're not going to be doing too strictly vanilla things in there, so... We don't really have to worry about warping too much. Although, there is the, uh, there might actually be, like, things that you can warp with. I know it's the portal gun, which I found. Spoiler alert. But, um, yeah. So, that's a little bit of a warp mechanic, I suppose. Alright, so we got this done here. We're nearly done with the lighting. It looks like we'll have just enough lanterns to be able to do it. Probably gonna be, uh, yeah. I think we've got just enough lanterns. Actually, we might be short by a small amount. Hopefully not. I don't actually know how many floors are left off the top of my head. No. We're actually just going to make it by, like, maybe five left. Okay, well, I've used most of my sea lanterns for this endeavor, but you know what? It looks good, so that's okay. Um, plus, I didn't want to use the glow senses, I think. Sea lanterns aren't easier to get, but you can buy them in the shop. Um, Glowstone, you can't do that. And, of course, Glowstone is very finite. Then again, you could always just use excavation, but, you know, who am I? Who am I? All right, let's get up here before this creeper blows up, or just kill him to eliminate the whole worry. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's jump up here. There we go. And go ahead and plug this in. Oh, we're not going to be able to reach that from our normal trajectory. All right, let's go here. Yeah, are we? Oh, no, we are short. Yeah, we're literally short by two. Fudge you, skeleton. I literally, I, I don't have time. We're literally short by two. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, I thought I had enough sea lanterns, and I was like, yeah, we're gonna be fine. We'll be fine for the most part. No, we will not be. i get our silk touch so we don't lose that. We need two more of these things, and I think I, I'm pretty sure I have them. Let me go back to home, uh, see if I have any in these chests over here. None in there, none in there, none in there. We already took out most of those. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. Still got some decent stuff in here that I gotta move over. There's my block five pants. Huh. I didn't realize that I had block five pants. Wait a second. No, no, no. Did I find demonic boots? Wait, was that a demonic helmet that I had or demonic boots? I think it was demonic. Wait, was it demonic boots? Hold on. 
Demonic- Oh, yeah, I have Demonic 5. Oh, I guess that takes in place for the block, then. Oh, you know what that means. For PvP, I could actually use these pants for the block 5, and then use the Demonic boots instead, which wouldn't really make that much of a difference. Oh, here's my- I, com I guess I completely forgot that this chest was a thing. So for those that were like, hey, you lost your leggings. No, I knew I didn't. I need to bring these when I go dungeon raiding. What am I doing with my life? All right, we got some steak in here too. I'll take that. Why not? Okay, so we don't have any sea lanterns in here. Let me go back to War Pete. I probably have some in here. I think right in here. No, no, no. Those are the crystals. Can I make these? Hold on. How does this... I don't know if this is the way that you make it. Is this how you make a lantern? It might be the other way around. I'm completely... T uh, this is a full shot in the dark right now. Is it like this? Wait, hold on. Is this how you make a lantern? No. Okay, that is not anywhere near close to how you make a lantern. I probably butchered that so hard. No idea how you make a lantern. Never made one of them in my life. Um, I have not gotten into Minecraft that heavily. But I guess we'll learn. Um, doesn't seem to be any in here. In here? No. No, no, no. I think we're actually out of sea lanterns. Cool. Phenomenal. Uh, unless there's some miraculous thing here. Nope, why would there be? Let's go to Warp Shop and pick up two. Just, <laughs> that's all that we need to actually finish this. There's that. And then the lanterns, $600 for that. How much is our battle at right now? 27000 It's not the highest, but it's okay. It's enough to get us by. Uh, let's go back to Warp Pete. Let's jump down in there. And let's go ahead and get this. So we're actually going to need to bring with us... Let me go ahead and get that before we go down there. We're going to need to work with water as well uh, to get the current flowing down there. I really need to move all those chests over. It just takes so much time and I'm so lazy. I know that's actually, the ladder is the real reason I'm not doing it. Um, still got a bow in there and some stuff. Why rob no job by Steven? That is a legend right there. Um, do I have buckets in here? No. Where are my buckets? What do I do with my buckets? I don't know what I do with my buckets, so I'm just going to make two. <laughs> I don't know what I do with them, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make more. We only need two. Here, let's go back to Warp Pete right now. We only need two buckets. Uh, throw away a ton of junk. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That 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 and that or that or what else do we not need? Eh. Yeah, I need the gunpowder. Eh, I guess we can keep the prism recharge back in here. I don't know why we would, but this is the little fish in there. I love it too. All right, so let's go ahead and do slash craft real fast. Go ahead and make some buckets. I actually can't remember. Did I have any iron or anything cooking up in these furnaces? I actually might have. From the mining adventure that I did? No. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, this wasn't the mining adventure. This is when I was clear. Hey, I knew I had some junk in here left over. Sweet. Let's sell hand to that and get some money, baby. Wait, hold on. Sell hand. Beautiful. 21k right there. I was like, I think I've got a little bit of spare money. And I don't know if I sold. I think I sold the diamonds. I'm pretty sure I sold the diamonds. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, our area is looking nice. That still needs to be fixed. Rob's being lazy on that. Gonna talk to him. This needs to be torn down completely. I'm gonna do that right now just to get make my life easier. I don't think this is my actual axe. So we're gonna go back home and grab my building axe real fast. Where's my building axe? Is it in here? No, here. Yes, it's in here. All right, perfect. And then I don't think I need any more tools from here necessarily. I do have my other silk touch pick. Smite five, unbreaking three, soul shattering. That's not a bad helmet. That's a... I don't know why I have... That's a pretty interesting. I haven't seen a headless enchant in a while. Flashback. Let's go ahead and chop this down. We're kind of just doing multi-purpose things right now. I don't know. We're here, so we might as well just make this look beautiful. I don't know if I have any more sand on me or not. I don't think I do. But I am going to... I want to rid this farm. But I know I might need, like, to till something. I don't know. So I'm going to leave it here for right now, even though it looks disgusting. Let's go ahead and drop back down into the area. Hello, Mr. Bunnies. Uh, you might not be misters. I don't know why I'm saying that. A lot more uh, friendly mobs spawned around this area, like, a, like about a week and a half ago. Which is pretty cool, because there used to be a pretty, uh, you know, lackluster amount of them. All right. So we got our whole area done right here. Uh, we got our two sea lanterns. So let's go ahead and just dip down all the way down here. Be perfect. <gasps> yes, beautiful. We got slimes. They are spawning. They are working. Awesome. So full proof that this machine is, or that not this machine, but this structure is generating what we need. So that's a relief, even though it wasn't really a necessary one. We're going to go ahead and do all of that down here. 
I think I want to light this up right here, even though I'm not actually... We're going to light up with glowstone just to be different, just to, I guess, signal that this is the floor, or signify, rather. Um, hmm. How do we want to light this up to make it look good? I'm thinking if we do it like this, with the third one right there, and then the third one right here. That's a little bit dark in the corners there, but I think that's okay. Uh, and then we'll do one right here. We'll do one right here because i was saying to myself oh, there's a little creeper down there what's up creeps do you want to get like cut from my axe you want to come over here want me to ask you a question <laughs> one of the most overused jokes in the history of the internet i don't think i'd actually can i snipe him from right here hold on i got him i actually got him with that that's crazy good is he dying is he gonna die no he's trying to blow up actually oh i can just get him from down here hey Suck a bitch. All right. Uh, those are just going to be there for a little while, I suppose. Um, yeah, but what I was saying, though, is we didn't necessarily have to worry about this area being, um, you know, like spawning mobs because of a light level. So I wasn't worried about lighting it up. But then again, it will make it look a lot more beautiful just to have the area lit up. So that's what we're doing. Um, let's see. If we have this right here. Uh, I forget how the dimensions of the actual slime chamber is. So I'll have to go back on my HTM world. To look at that so this air whole area is lit up um what we're gonna want to do is basically here let's go ahead and just take a little area a temporary area for right now oh god that is a oh jesus <laughs> five six this is not what i meant by temporary at all but i guess we can go ahead and close it up did i go through here oh i stripped mine through here didn't i yes i did and this is that bedrock I must have found diamonds down here or something. Or someone else was here completely, and I don't even know what that is. More than likely the former. Uh, okay, so let me just go ahead and create um, an infinite water source right there. We do have another little zombie down there. I actually think I need to light up the area underneath, more importantly. Because I was going to style that a lot better, but unfortunately never got the chance to. So what we're going to have to do is, uh, let me actually... You know what I'm going to do? You guys are coming on a journey with me. We're going to go ahead and disconnect from here. We're going to go single player, and we're going to dip into our how-to Minecraft world. And we're going to go... I think I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, I'm at the place. So this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Um, let's see. So these are slimes that were here. Um, this is how the design looks. What we're going to need is... Okay, so this is a small little chamber where they're going to suffocate from. I think how this worked before was... Let me actually practice using water on here. Uh, let me just practice real fast here. So we get some stone. Um, let's just drain this whole area of any water from here. I believe this will drain all the water going down. No, it won't because there's some in the corners. All right. Let me just redo this whole thing and make sure... Oh, no, no. I actually did it from here, too. Oh, right, because it didn't flow down fully. Okay. So we'll get rid of this. And I think now... All the water is going to be gone, except for, okay, except for that. So there still is a little bit more. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and test and make sure I actually remember how I did this. Um, so I don't look like a fool. <laughs> but as you guys can see down here, this is how I wanted to do it, where there's no uh, stone. It's just bedrock, because mobs won't spawn down there if it's only bedrock. Uh, mobs can't spawn on bedrock, so that's why I want to remove the stone. So no more little baddies get underneath there. So let me go ahead and see. I think, what was that, three wide? That was three wide, wasn't it? So I'm pretty sure what we have to do for the order is place down three water like this, and then three water like this, so it goes inward. And then I'm pretty sure if we place the water along here, like this, and then this from any direction, if I was to fall like right here, I should flow... Yeah, okay, so I do flow into here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if we keep going, let's just wait. I think this is the same exact flow that I had before, because I can't, I'm not moving right now. I'm letting the current take me. This is how I'll act as a slime. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a problem. They'll get backed into right here. Okay, how did I do that then? Did I... I think I extended it out. Oh, yeah, it was three like this. There we go. So then, let me see. Oh, no, now that's a problem, you see. That's a problem, you see. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Figuring out problems. That just made itself... No, this is still a current. Is this a current? That's not a current. This is a current. This, however, is a little bit tricky. I don't think these slimes are going to be able to go in there. 
That's a problem. How did I do this before? That's what I'm curious about. Let's go ahead and make this flow here so a little slime goes all the way down. Let's do the same for this little guy. Come on, guy. You're going down. You're going down to the grinder. <laughs> You're going down to get grinded up. Um, right. So does he... Oh, no, he goes. Oh, maybe it was because it was... Oh, I think it was just because it was me. Oh, yeah, you know what? Wait. No, I think they do get caught on the edges a little bit, but they do wind up going in eventually. Like, he's eventually gonna go in. Yeah, he's in now. This guy, I think when he's done hopping... Yeah, I think he's gonna... So he eventually goes in as well. He just takes some time. That's how I remember it. Okay. Yeah, it just takes some time. So let's go ahead and go back to the HTM world right here. And we'll do the same thing, basically. Gonna take a little bit. And then I'm gonna have to do a cut once we get to the point... <laughs> it looks so much different, but it looks so similar. All right, uh, how did I do this last time? I think it was, what was it? Three right here. Yeah, it was three here. There we go. Now let's fill that up right there. This is going to be need to be filled up with stone. That's for sure. And then let's do the same thing right over here. So one, two, and... Well, three is already done. Now let's do one, two, and I guess we can just fill it up from the middle here. Uh, yeah, we can just fill it up from the middle. And we got our flowing current for the slimes to fall down. Now, I don't know how slime, how uh, mob spawning really works, like the mob rates are on this server. I haven't studied it myself. So I'm hoping that this slime farm is still going to be, like, fairly useful. Uh, I think it will be, like, fairly... It'll still be useful, but I want it to be, like, you know, super efficient, as it always is. Although, I think with this server, there's a really funky thing with mobs and spawning. So it might not actually be as efficient as we want it to be, but it's still worth the shot regardless. Alright, so let's go ahead and drag this along right here. I'm going to grab that from there, grab that from there. Then we're going to need to wall off this entire area, I believe, just to make sure no slimes can get in there or any other baddies. There we go. One, two. One, two, three, four. And one. There we go. So one along there and two. And then just got to do this whole thing over the same way again so they'll fall. Now we pretty much have it. Alright, perfect. Now, I'm gonna have to go back to the world for one more brief moment to see how much items we need. Thankfully, we do need a lot of signs, but Kenny's got us covered on that because of his little prank that we did. This whole area is, it's kinda dark down here, but it still does get the job done. We got our limited supply of water, so we can go ahead and just close this up right here. We'll never need to use it ever, ever, ever again. There we go. Clog that up. I guess this little block is gonna be our first demonstration of items that flow. Uh, so right in here is this little area right here is going to be our killing floor, I suppose. I don't remember how to make these, so I am going to have to go look it up again just to make sure that I do this properly, because I know there's a certain order as to how you have to build it. So I might need to remake it, but let's actually just go to Warp Pete real fast. Uh, actually, no, it's back home. Let's go ahead and grab the signs from here. So we're going to need, uh, I think 16 is fine. I think we need a little bit less than that for the actual proper build. We're going to need some glass, which I would love to actually get dyed green. And I believe I have some green glass still in here. No, this chest. Wait. This chest. Okay. It's not... Hmm. Lime staying last. We do have lime dye, though, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and go to uh, Warp Shop and grab some glass from over here, which is the most beautiful thing. I love that you can get glass from the shop. Craft this. This should give us, I think, enough. Is 18 going to be enough to build? No, definitely. Most definitely not. Uh, I don't know if we have any more dye in this chest. No, we do have cactus green, though. So let's go ahead and cook this up and get this turned into lime green. And then we can make that entire thing lime green so it actually looks good. So it looks, you know, it blends in with the slimes. Uh, I believe this is how you make lime green dye, is if you were to cook it with the cactus. I have a little bit of jungle wood right here. Let's actually get the rabbit hide out of there. Pretend that I never killed a rabbit in my lifetime, which I don't ever think I did. Get the cactus green. Oh, no, no, no. How do you... Is it just bone meal? It might actually just be bone meal. Do I just do this? No. Wait. 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 Yes! Okay, that's how you do it. You don't have to cook it. You have... I know you had to cook uh, cacti to get the dark green, but I didn't know, like, if you cooked it, it made it, like, lighter. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, it, uh, steamed. <laughs> I don't fudging know what I'm saying. I know cooking it would make it darker. Fudge off! I know how cooking works. All right, let's go ahead and get all that. So we got a full stack and two of uh, the lime stained glass, 
And uh, yeah, I think what I might need to do is make a little bit of a cut right here so I can go back and figure out how this machine is done. And then I'll get back to you guys. Do we have any more slime spawning? Uh, not yet. Again, I don't know how useful this thing is going to be while I'm just at my house, if it's going to generate any slimes at all because of the radius of how far away I am. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so coming back from uh, what we were looking at here, it's actually a fairly simple design. Um, I actually don't know why I even needed to go and check on it, because it's actually... It, it's very simple. Very, very simple. I'll go ahead and build it up right here. I need to actually get rid of this right here so I can put the glass down in full. So the whole glass is basically going to wrap around the area like this. It's um, completely designed. Yeah, it's all for design. There will be a few pieces of glass that we do use for the actual building. Um, but for right now, I actually really love to look at this. I don't know, uh, I think my other one was just gray, uh, the other glass that I used, but this is very, very cool. Really liking the style of uh, how this worked. Uh, however, this roof will actually need to be one larger. Completely overlooked that, so this actually needs to go up. The question is, do I even have enough glass to do this? I think I do. Pretty sure I do, actually. Um, if anything, I wouldn't need to do the corners, but I think the connected textures look a little bit weird if I didn't. So let's do this around right here and around here. And then we need to cover the roof with this. Do I have enough is the question. I think I just have enough, actually. Yeah, perfect. In fact, I do just have enough to do this. You don't have to do it with glass, but it's for my own, I don't know, preference I am. So with the signs, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place um, right in one layer right here the four bottom signs that go along from here. This is all to stop water flow. And then from here, we're going to place one sign there, one sign there. One sign there, and one sign there, and the same thing right here. Now what happens next, this is a little bit more of the complicated thing. We're going to want to place down, um, oh yeah, I guess we aren't going to be able to use it with full glass. Eh, well we are too short, but whatever. Um, we're going to want to place down some materials right here. And what this is going to do, what we're going to need to do this for, is we're going to place the water basically um, on these blocks right here going inward and now let's go ahead and i think just for ease we'll go ahead and place one right there and then that should already be a full block yeah okay so this is a yeah it's an ultimate okay so the reason for this is because this is now giving a flow into the corner so it's making a current you know moving that whatever is in there forward like i'm moving forward right now um, if we didn't have the blocks underneath here, the water would just fall and it would, it would give a downward current. Now what we want to do is we can break the blocks free at will right now. I believe that's a silk touch. Yeah, it is. So we can break the blocks free of will. And now this right, this water right here is going to connect with that. So it's not a down current. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go in here, for example, and I'm going to get caught in the current and I'm actually going to go up. Of course, you know, I, um, you know, I'm rather heavy, so... Yeah, it doesn't really happen, but I'm going to wind up going upward, and I'm going to get locked to right about here. This is where I'm going to get stuck. As a slime, this is where I'd be stuck, and that's where i drown, because that's how the current works. So, the actual thing is pretty much nearly finished building. The only thing that I haven't done, and I need to go do that right now, 615 mining skill. Damn, man, what are we going to reach 1,000? I'm stoked for that achievement. Um, let's just go ahead and pack up back at Warp Pete, uh, or actually back at our home, rather, the stone that we don't need for this endeavor. Let's go ahead and pack that up in there. Uh, pack up the stone slabs as well. We're going to need five chests. Actually, no, we're going to need four, aren't we? Yeah, four. Okay, so we're going to need one, two, three, and four. And then we're also going to need chests from there as well. Okay, well, I guess we're going to need 16 total. We might actually need even, even more than that. Uh, and then we're going to need hoppers, too. So we're going to need the chest to make the hoppers, ultimately. Let's go ahead and grab some iron from here. And we're going to need four hoppers to obviously take the slime balls into the chest. Let's go ahead and drag us on over here. There we go. And put the chests in the middle right there. So we got the four hoppers as needed. Let's go ahead and go back to home. Just kidding. I'm still not used to which is which. I know which is which, but not like offhand. And then let's go ahead. I actually want to see... Hold on. I'm going to go back up there. And I want to see if I can jump down into the water from on top of this from on top of this roof. I don't know, I just want to challenge myself. I don't think, five, six, okay. I don't think I can actually reach uh, the water from here, but let's go ahead and take a yellow dive. Oh God, yeah, uh, okay. Well, I had to actually grab onto the leaves or the vines, but all right, so no slimes have actually spawned to test it, but it is working, it's completely done. Um, so from right here, what we're gonna wanna do is 
Let's actually go around, make a little entrance right from here, same way I had my entrance before. Um, and then go in the back here. You have got to be kidding me! You have got to be kidding me! You have got to be kidding me! I am happy right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and see how many we got here. This is a pretty fair vein. Okay. I like this. Let's go ahead and just super breaker this real fast. Uh, super breaker that up. There we go. How many diamonds did we get from that? Is that all there was? I guess that's all there was. We got nine diamonds out of, I think that was five right there. Pretty sick. I like that. Um, so then from here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to place the hoppers down. So, oh god, that's the water. So the hoppers are going to go right there into the chest. So right here, let's place the double chest down right here. So one and two. Oh no. Are we going to lose that chest permanently? Oh no, we did. Wait. No, I can go back down there and get sweet. All right. So we go ahead and place that down right there. The double chest is actually very nice because this is neat, unlike the other one that I had. Um, in my other world, there was a bedrock blocking it like right there, so I had to design it differently. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, what we're going to want to do is let's just place the hopper uh, going right here. And then we're going to want to place another hopper. Okay, we can't do that. How do I want to connect this? If I place a hopper going this direction... Where is the thing? That's not going to bleed into there, is it? No, it's just connected that way. Alright, so let me actually... If I place that right there, and then I think if I come around and place the hopper like this... Yeah, so that will bleed into there. Perfect. Alright, I don't know why I use the term bleed. It's not very... It's not fully accurate. Now let's do the same thing right here. Hopper down right there, and then we'll go ahead and go over into the corner this direction. And then we'll place the hopper down, going into that hopper right there. Beautiful. And I guess just cover this up. That's able to be opened perfectly. Awesome. All right, sick. I'm very happy about this right now. So we have our little chest down there. Let's actually uh, slash craft, use some of these this stone here, and make some stairs. Just, I don't know, ease of use, I suppose. There we go. Uh, f two stairs right here. That does not work. Uh, thankfully, the bedrock is not blocking us again, which is awesome. Love you, bedrock. Thank you for just cooperating so beautifully with me. So we got the chest right there. Awesome. And uh, now the other thing is, too, I'm going to have to get under there and break that as well. We have some glowstone here, too. Let's just go ahead and, uh, I guess, just use the glowstone design along here to light this place up a little bit. We'll do the same thing. Um, I don't know how we want to make this room. We'll probably design this room up a little bit as well. Uh, for right now, I think it's okay. I kind of like it, the stone being over this, though. So I'm thinking, let's just go ahead and cut a hole into here. Oh, God. I actually really hate building with this because I literally just have to tap it once. All right. Yeah, I freaking heck, man. I hate that so much. All right. Now let's just do a little wide angle around here. Now, the thing is... The little pain in the ass is that, um, here, so if we get this around the corner here, we'll be able to just exit from inside of here. Yeah, perfect. All right, and then this is our little exit, I suppose. Actually, let's go ahead and just do one stair right there, and then a stair in the corner. I don't know, just to make it look a little bit better, I guess. Actually, I like it with the stair, with the stone right there. All right, so we got a little room. Um, now the thing is, ooh, let's actually cover that top up right there, make us look a lot better. Can I get up there? I'm gonna be able to get up there. I think I'll have to break my way in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break my way in. All right, let's go up and over. All right, let's get rid of you. First off, don't know what the frick you're doing there. Close up this entire area. Do I hear slime? Thought I heard slime. I do not hear slime. This is our little uh, strip mine into there. All right, let's cover this entire thing up from here. There we go. Uh, one and two, one and two, and then that's covered up beautifully. Yes, indeed it is. Awesome. So we got our room and a uh, little two wide hall right there. So the thing is, we need to stay actually about 16 blocks in this direction if we want any slimes to spawn, uh, at least while we're if we're going to be AFKing it. Uh, so let me actually just make sure uh, this is exactly the way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... And I guess just 16, right about here. Still got my shovel. Beautiful. So right about here is where we're actually going to want to stand. So let's use some glowstone here to kind of light this area up. Found a little bit of lapis back there. That's not bad. I'll go ahead and grab that at a different time. Um, I guess really this is kind of like our room for the time being. 
Uh, get some jungle wood here. Make some jungle doors. Why not? <laughs> uh, don't need the coal. Let's just go ahead and put the doors, I guess, right here. And then I guess this can be our little AFK room. Okay, it's simple. It's something, I guess. Let's actually uh, turn this into stone bricks fully so we can actually design this a little bit better. I like the fact that the dirt is completely surrounding it, but I'm not liking the fact that it's dirt. So let's get rid of the floor as well. Just going to break the doors. Beautiful. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. We might replace some of this with slime blocks. I imagine we actually will replace it with slime blocks in the future uh, once we get a lot of slime. I'm not sure if I want to use the slime to actually prank anyone, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We're making this look a lot better than it did back in season one, actually, which is really nice. Um, how do we want to do this then? I guess we'll just make the stone bricks go along here, and I guess in the corner as well to just kind of, I don't know, keep the same full feel. There we go, and then stone bricks along here. I guess the stone bricks can stay. That is a very interesting redstone vein. Huh, <laughs> interesting. Um, all right, not bad. Glowstone, I guess, can kind of go in a corner here. I have a little design idea. How does that look? Stone can go here, fix that, and then, uh, what about glowstone going maybe? Hmm, what about one glowstone right there? How does that look? And then maybe a glowstone, like right here? Yeah. It's not actually symmetrical, but it is a design, nonetheless. We got some redstone and everything, but this is pretty cool. I'm liking this. So, uh, we haven't actually seen any slimes come in yet. If they do, they'll go ahead and die in there. Slime balls will drop, and we'll get our lovings in the chest. So, uh, just to kind of tease them, we're just gonna do slash craft real fast. Let's make a slime block, and we're gonna put the slime block in here as just a little, uh, come on in sort of little ordeal. And, uh, I'm not actually able to pick that up, am I? hate that. Alright, um, I think actually maybe I could work underneath here real briefly. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna do something real fast. Here, let me go ahead and place the doors back down here because I completely forgot. <gasps> yes! Welcome, my friend! Welcome to your demise! Where did the frick did you even come from? You can hardly even tell he's a slime. Well, you can kind of tell, but there's the glass makes it look so much different. So yeah, like I said, he fell from somewhere here, from there. There might be some slimes up there as well that we can't see. So he's drowning right now. The only problem with this technique, it's still fine, is it takes a little while. And uh, sometimes they can escape, like this one actually is trying to. And it looks like he actually might be able to. Sometimes they push each other out, but from my experience, I know for a fact they do wind up um, drowning eventually. He's trying to attack me. That's why he's able to get out so easily. But um, he's just going to wind up splitting into four as well. And the slimes are going to drop. And, oh, you know what? I want to get, like, a slime pet. Or Actually, no, I'm not getting a slime pet. I don't want, like, a pet to watch his family die. Oh, that'd be cruel. I'm not doing that. So he's going to wind up dying uh, soon. They're both going to wind up dying very easily. And then we got all these guys right here. Now, the thing is, I can't kill them. Um, I could obviously go in and kill them, you know, with, like, a looting sword or something to get more loot. But... It really is just like normal mob drop right now. So as soon as these guys drown, I'm pretty sure they're going to one tick in just a moment. Ah, yep, there's our first slime ball. Where is it? Yes! Wait, hold on. Let's see if we can get a full slime block off these guys. Hold on. Drop more slime. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. Stop sitting on that floor. There you go. That's one more ball. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on. You know you want to do it. Just keel over. Do it for me. Just do it for me. I, I can't look. I can't look. I'm so sorry. Did we get a slime block out of that? We were actually one shy of getting a full slime block out of that giant guy. So it's not going to return the greatest of wields, but it is definitely something. So we have a fully operational slime chunk. Sick. Very, very happy about that. It's right underneath our home. So stoked. Honestly, very, very happy. Going to touch this up a little bit there. Those were my buttons. Um accidentally made a lot of buttons while I was going through there uh, trying to make the uh, slab so that kind of sucked but regardless we got our area I'm happy everybody should be happy <laughs> and uh, yeah I guess we can start generating some slime balls not sure if I'm gonna AFK this I could AFK it for an hour I will start pushing my luck or my uh, two hour limit with the AFK timer on here I think just for this purpose alone I am kind of curious. I do kind of want to do like an episode tomorrow around the house 
and see if we can get any slimes to spawn. I did just realize that's actually obstructing the slime spawning. That's actually obstructing the spawn. That being moved in right there. There's about a 4x5 platform, or like a 5x9 platform right now that can't spawn any slime because of that. Yeah, well, that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do real briefly is, uh, going to sell hand of this iron ore right here. You know, for half the price, it's whatever. $765. I'm going to go underneath here, and I'm actually going to get rid of... Oh, God, this looks so ugly, but so cool as well. A lot of stone down here, for sure. I'm going to get rid of every single stone block underneath here. Um, just so no moss will spawn. I think it's still relatively bright, though. So, I don't think they would spawn regardless. I, they might have been there from, like, leftover or whatever. But, gonna go ahead and do that. And I think we're gonna end off the episode here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I had a couple of rough days on the server. Not a lot of progress was getting done. I apologize. I know a couple of you guys were kind of, like, disappointed. I could tell by the ratings there's a little bit more dislikes than usual. Which, you know, kind of funks me. It's like, eh, I don't really like that very much. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the progress. And we're gonna see what we can do in the future now that we've got this built up see what our next little project is on h2m and if you have any more ideas other than like the arena because i'm still not sure if i want to bring that back fully or not time will tell honestly that's really all i can say but uh if you guys have any ideas for stuff that you might want to see me bring back or just build in general definitely let me know we'd love to hear it ciao guys see you next time ciao